Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon. Earlier this week, I posted a video which asked for comments regarding the possibility of having some brain surgery to stop the tremor that's in my hands. And while the tremor is continuing to get worse, literally, uh, by the week, I wanted some advice and I got so many responses and I want to thank you for that. And the responses indicated some of the treatments that were suggested were things like um, taking CBD oil, acupuncture, which I had never really considered, talking to the Parkinson's Foundation to see what they would recommend regarding tremor, look at YouTube where there's video that I could follow and see what other people have done, and I've done all of that. And I've also checked out from patients, in fact, the very hospital and doctor that was suggesting that I do this are featured on one of the YouTube videos. I watched that video carefully. At any rate, I also watch videos of people who have been through this, and I was very interested in some of the side effects that they described because I mentioned to you a couple of side effects, and these help me formulate the decision that I've arrived at. Here are some of the side effects. I want to read them to you. There are too many to just rattle them off. First of all, it talks about a coma. I really want to have a coma. Half my life people suggested I've been in a coma. And anyway, a stroke. That's not a good idea. Speech slur. Oh, wonderful. Walking problems. Now, I mentioned one of the side effects was legs that ache and, and the muscle ache, and, and that's where the walking problems come in. But it also said staggering, and I just don't want to be walking around staggering. Your gait when you're walking, the, the space between your steps can vary, and that can be a, a, an issue. Hemorrhage. While it's a low risk for, for hemorrhaging, if it happens, it says here that it's permanent and it can be severe. I really don't like the idea of that. Numbness sets in, tingling sensations. I mentioned that around the lips. Muscle tightness on the face or in the arms. Balance problems. Oh my goodness. Staggering and balance problems and gait problems. Literally, you become immobile is a, is a possibility, I guess. I don't like that. Worsening of some motor symptoms, apathy or disinterest. Can you imagine being disinterested in doing this? Oh, shoot me now. Hallucinations. Now, that could be a good thing. <laughs> it all depends what you're hallucinating on or the subject of the hallucination, but I still don't like the idea of that. Confusion. Boy, you just have to ask my kids. They'll tell you I'm confused as it is. I don't need to add to more of that. Judgment impair uh, impairment, cognitive dysfunction, depression, mania, panic attacks, dizziness, lightheadedness, similar, suicidal tendencies, seizures, breathing problems like the coronavirus isn't enough. We want to add breathing problems to that. Heart problems, infection. Those are some of the side effects of overwhelmingly people have suggested that I should not be doing this people that I've talked to directly have all said no rather emphatically. I look at these side effects and I think, I don't want any of that. I don't want any of the possibility. There are people in the hospital today doing chemo treatment. There are people in there having cardiac issues. There are sick people in the hospital and I'm dealing with a tremor. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, Monty. This is no big deal. So my hand shakes. Well, I guess when you watch this video, you just have to shake your head a little bit in order to see my hand stand still. I don't know if that would work or not. I still like the idea of putting the, the uh, crazy glue on my hand and put it down on the bench and see if my body would shake. Anyway, I make fun of it and I make light of it. My decision is no, it just doesn't make sense to me but I am grateful for your comments. I am grateful for your input and I'm grateful for you being here. Thank you so much. I really value your opinions and they matter to me. I really do think of us as all being in one big family. So 
Thank you for your advice. I'm going to follow it. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.